Hello everyone, I'd like to share with you the trades that I'm going to take today on Monday 26 of August 2024. This trade is going to be taken on NASDAQ, Dow Jones and S&P 500 and as you see one hour chart it had some uptrend moves during the global session but didn't last and it started to go down during the London session and it's going down continuously with solid red candles on Dow Jones and also on Nasdaq and S&P 500 but not on Dow Jones it's going opposite way so let's have a look and wait for opportunities so, so we came back it's around 1040 and the price dropped significantly and passed the previous day close on NASDAQ and retesting important level of support so there is opportunity for setup B here so I'm setting limit order here on NASDAQ and on also S&P 500 and we're gonna have also setup T on the Dow Jones because it's trendy and didn't drop significantly and it's very bullish so Dow Jones have one position now and it's getting trailed by the trailing stop of the ATM. It just closed that with some profit. Since the order flow shows the sellers are getting in control and the price reached some level of resistance on NASDAQ, I entered one sell short position on NASDAQ for very quick scalp. I'm ready to exit any moment if it doesn't work. For the S&P 500 and Dow Jones, we want to take long positions. Let's see if NASDAQ goes down, we can close this sell short position with profit. So the sellers were not as strong and couldn't push the price lower and hesitating. And I see from tick and YSC and order flow that the buyers are getting back. So I'm getting ready to take long positions on all eminis. I took one long position on NASDAQ already we're waiting for the orders to be filled on Dow Jones and S&P 500 okay we have just one order filled on Dow Jones the ATM is trailing these positions and our position on NASDAQ was closed with profit and also Dow Jones was closed with some small profits so from now that the buyers came back on the NASDAQ and S&P 500, we're going to repeatedly take long position with setup C and T. So let's set up this limit orders and wait for the pullback to happen and fill these orders. The order flow is positive in favor of long positions on NASDAQ and S&P 500 so those closed with profit one good long position on NASDAQ was closed and we're waiting for S&P to be filled we want to take more pullbacks on NASDAQ which is going uptrend we have now two positions on Dow Jones and waiting for the price to either reverse or hit the stop loss we see what happens our positions or long positions were filled on nasdaq and s&p 500 but we but on dow jones we were stopped out we're reaching the next target we're managing our two positions on nasdaq now if it breaks this triangle it will go much higher so one of the position will close with profit, second one with profit. And we can probably get one more pullback. We see if it gets filled. If not, we have to manually enter quickly because the buying pressure is high on NASDAQ and S&P 500. On Dow Jones, we lost the trend and it's not very regular and highly volatile. So I'm not going to take a chance on Dow Jones anymore. Just focus on NASDAQ channel, which is going smoothly uptrend. I think that's enough for the day. 
So all these signals were copied by copy trader as usual to multiple Apex Trader funding accounts. And you see performance of one of these accounts here, which is positive, showing profit factor of 4.65, which is coming from 84% win rate, mainly from the long positions taken. Although we had one small sell short position with a small profits, and also the average win to loss ratio was 0.85. The largest winning trade was 285 and the largest losing trade was $204. So I hope these trades taken by the path system for faster scalping is useful for you. And let us know if you have any questions. Have a wonderful day.